Hello, in this video we'll be covering the tree joint transformation in Centerprise. The tree joint transformation is a data set transformation that's used to join two data sets and join them in a hierarchical tree or a hierarchical record. So for example, in this case we have a data set coming from orders and we have a data set uh, coming from order items table. Uh, we do not want to do employ a regular join that will just create a flat data structure we want to use the tree join which will take the uh, the subset of data from order items and insert them into the proper node relate, related by some field, in this case the order ID field. So any place where I have an order item with the same order ID as the order ID, the collect, uh, order ID from this collection, I will insert that record into the uh, parent record. So for example if I look at my SAP source data of order, you can see I have orders 1, 2, 3, 4, and if I look at my uh, source data for order item, I have another collection with orders 1 through 9, uh, and I have the corresponding order ID here, so the first three are belonging to order ID 1, uh, the next three order ID 2, and so on. So the way the tree join works is that by selecting the order ID as the same as the parent order ID, we'll go ahead and insert that sub-collection into the parent collection. So if I preview the data, you can see that I have the four, uh, the four output paths corresponding to my four orders. If I expand it, you can see that since I have the order as a, as a collection, uh, as a reference node inside of the, or actually as a collection node inside of the tree join, I have uh, the extra node here. And then under that, I have the order items. So here you can see that I have order items one, two, three, and in the collection of an order. So uh, if I move to the next one, you see order ID 2 and with order IDs, uh, order items 4, 5, and 6. So this uh, output makes it suitable to map to a XML destination or any other uh, hierarchical data type destination or subsequent transformation. Um, so uh, to do that, uh, we would need to set up the uh, tree join for it to know when to uh, put the order item inside the order. Uh, we would need to change the uh, the properties of the tree join. So here I have the properties open for that uh, tree join. Uh, and the first thing you'll notice is the uh, by default it opens with the hierarchical uh, layout editor. Uh, you can hide this of course, but of, uh, most likely you'll want this visible so you can see the different levels. Right away you see that this looks like the uh, layout is blank, but if I click on different levels of the editor you can see where I'm editing different uh, layouts. So uh, in this case, uh, I want to uh, go to the next screen, since I have my layout already set up, and go to the uh, properties screen. So in this case, I have my order ID and order item ID, uh, and these are specified by clicking on the drop down here. So in, this, in the first one, I am selecting order, order ID, and uh, order item, uh, order ID. So when these two fields match, uh, we're going to consider this uh, a, an appropriate spot to insert the, the child record. Uh, and also notice that we have a different uh, join types. We have the inner and the left outer. I'm going to leave this as left outer, which will mean that the uh, I don't need a, a, a corresponding uh, record in the in the child collection. Uh, I just need the parent uh, record only, and that and that should suffice to write it uh, to make it an output for this tree join. Uh, also, we have the case sensitive option, and this is used uh, in many transformations in Centerprise. In this case, since my uh, the field that I'm uh, comparing to, to for a join is a number, uh, this does not apply. But I can also compare uh, text values, and in, in in which case uh, I can make it the comparison uh, dependent on sensitivity of the case or not. Uh, and I can also have multiple keys to join on. So now that I have that, um, I can. I can go and uh, let's say for example I want to include the shipping address as well and not just the uh, and, and not just the uh, regular order item. So I don't have that node here so what I can do is directly in the uh, tree here or actually from the editor I'm going to go in and add a, another node here. So in this case it's, it's at the level of order so I'm going to go ahead and add a member here and I'm going to call it shipping info and say okay 
And here I'm going to specify uh, the layout for the shipping. So I'm going to click on that element and say uh, a street, city, state, and zip. And now I can click uh, OK. So here you can see that for my orders I don't have that information, but I'm going to go ahead and go to my database browser. And let me just delete this one. And I have a view that contains uh, the order and the shipping info. So orders with shipping info, drag that on here. And here you can see that I have within the same data set I have my order as well as my shipping info. So this is this is perfectly legal. I can take the the information from orders with shipping info and map it here, and I can take the shipping info with from the same data set and map it there. So because I have a reference node here, uh, which is a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship with the order, I can go ahead and just map to this sub uh, element or the sub object within the tree. This is perfectly legal. And then if I preview the data here, you can see that I get the order along with the shipping info uh, inside of the order node. And then I can just go ahead and map from here to uh, the shipping address. And uh, let's see what else. And then uh, I have street, state, and zip here. So this is, this is perfectly legal. So I have, uh, but if you notice, I have uh, in another example, let's go here. And in another example, you'll notice that I have a sub another collection inside the order item collection. For this example to work, I will have to use a subsequent tree join. So you can take uh, one tree and join and join it with another tree join. So for example, I will do that from scratch here. So uh, here's where we left off in the last example, pretty much. Uh, and now I want to join a third data set, in this case the order item coupon, with the output of my previous tree join. So I'm going to go to the toolbox, look for the tree join transformation under the transformation section, drag and drop that onto the designer, and this, this will present you with a blank tree join box on the diagram. So what I'm going to want to do is take the uh, layout from the previous tree join, select copy layout, and then paste it and say add member at the top. This will give me the entire contents of the previous tree. And now I want to take the, the child collection of order item, in this case order item coupon, and join that and add this to the layout as well. So I'm going to paste it at the level that I want to insert it at. So in this case I'm going to select the order item level, say paste add member, and I want to change this to a collection. Uh, because it's not a reference. It has, there's a many-to-one relationship here. So here you see the icon changes as well. So now I'm going to go and uh, into the properties of the tree join and navigate to the join. And in this case, I'm going to say left outer again. And I want to move to on the left side. In this case, my parent is going to be order item. Uh, and I want to select order item. In this case, it's the order item ID. And for the right field, I want to navigate all the way to the, to the child that I'm joining, in this case, order item coupon, and select order item ID, because that's how these fields are related. So I select OK, and now I have the tree join set up, and now I can just map into the, uh, the, the tree, the, the subsequent tree join. So from the first tree join to the second tree join, and then from this other collection into that collection. And now if I preview my data, you can see that, uh, well, actually, I have a mismatch in types here. I have to go to order item and here you can see that I have the coupon order item ID is set as string. The data types uh, must be equal for this to work. I need to change the data type to uh, integer in this case. So uh, now that I have the integer uh, type set up correctly I can preview the tree join and here you see that I have, for example, in the first tree join, the order followed by the order item. And in this case, I have an order item coupon inserted in the correct uh, order item collection. So I can keep going uh, on and on and building up my uh, complex hierarchical data structure by combining tr uh, tree joins with subsequent tree joins and joining those, uh, those nodes and just keep 
building up that tree with, with tree joints. Um, and that's how you use the tree joint transformation in Centerprise.